David. Hi. All right. You? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm fine. Thanks. It's been a long time. I'd have hardly recognised you. I'll take that as a compliment, shall I? Yeah, of course. Where's Joe? Back at the flat. Is he all right? Yeah, yeah, I think he's, uh, yeah, he's fine, I think, yeah. You know, this really isn't like him. Has he said anything to you about why he ran off? Well, it's not really any of my business, to be honest. What did he say? Uh, he said that, um, <clears throat> said that you got a load of blokes on the go. What blokes? I don't know, you know, different boyfriends you have, but I think he finds it upsetting. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't have any boyfriends. Look, Lorraine, I don't want to interfere in your life. I just, uh, I'm just concerned about your state of mind, you know? David, it isn't true. Well, something's upset him. And there's Karen, I mean, she's, she's at a difficult age now. It's, she's a young girl, it's not right for someone like that to have loads of blokes running all over the show. Karen's dead, David. What? She's dead. She died in a car accident nine months ago. I thought Joe might have told you. Why didn't you tell me? I'm telling you now. Why didn't you tell me before? For Christ's sake, I'm the girl's father. You haven't even sent her a birthday card in years. Do you think she really thought of you as a father? Oh. I have a right. Oh, no, you haven't, David. She stopped thinking of you as a dad a long time ago. Couldn't you have at least written? I didn't want you back in our lives, upsetting Joe. He was disturbed enough as it was. David, the last time you saw Karen, she was six. The day she died, she was 13. You don't know anything about her. 